Hi, Aries. Happy month of December. And that's always such a good month for us all. You know, it's, it's when people are kind to each other. They give love. And hopefully we all know this season is, you know, Jesus is the reason for the season. And let's see what your readout is for today. I, I really want to thank you all for all your likes and all your subscriptions and liking people and telling people to like me and subscribe to it. I thank you so much. Aries, your inventive future goes into overdrive. You really do go into overdrive. This period between the 6th and the 8th is going to be a wonderful time. If you do not overdo it and you have a, you have a tendency, Aries, when something starts going right and you like it, you're just going 150%, if not more. Um, a type A personality, you know, just run, don't, don't walk, just run. <laughs> You will be making your goals and plans for next year and for the coming year. And you'll, you, um, you'll be amazed if you write them down and really think about them and give it some thought between now and say the first of the year, when, whatever your time is at limit. Um, it's amazing how much more you can get done, how much more thoughts come and, and keep going and going and help you make things happen for you. Um, your, um, you like to plan the year ahead so you can harmonize your energies correctly because you have a lot of energies that are harmonizing. Um, and keep, keep this going until the winter solstice. And it's, winter solstice this year, we have an eclipse, we have a new moon, we have many things happening. Uh, and it's, it's all good, they're all good. And, and things are changing, by the way. Things are really changing for, for the New Year, all the things that have been so hard on everyone are going to change, are going to change. It's a planetary mo planetary movement, and I've always heard what happens above happens down here. So uh, whether you believe in planets or not, that they affect our lives, I don't know if I do, uh, truly. But I know it seems like when some things are in certain positions, boy, you have a hard time. Here's Toonie. She wants to say hi. She oh, wants to get. She wants in the spotlight. <laughs> keep keep going, and, and when the solstice comes, and you'll see after that, things are going to start getting easier and better for you. If if you are conscious of this, the energy will be a jump start. It will jump start you to do whatever you want to do to get it done uh, to your next phase of life, and that's wonderful because you have a new phase in your life coming. Very much so. By the full moon on the, on the 29th, you'll be even a, a glimpse of full things that will play out for you in the next year. And that's, it's, it's all changed, it's so good. Things will start being easier for you also. The solstice brings you forth a breath of inspiration and that'll be good for you, Aries. At this solstice, you focus, your focus shifts to your foundation and your roots and what you really feel. You achieve new clarity around your around your alliances, around all your people that are you're close to and things you're close to. Some new clarity will really help you, will really bring you up. Some relationships cement a new commitment. That's very true, see that? That's been hanging for a year, maybe longer than a year. Maybe some shorter, but I say there's some that have been really hanging for a year. Um, so if a new commitment comes, some get involved and make a way for fresh new developments. Yes, new developments, and you'll like that a lot because you like new things. You like challenges. Your best days are the 8th, the 14th, and the 21st. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time. I'm going to do the cards for you. I'm not going to do the cards right now. But I want to say I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, and I will be doing some, some things before Christmas. Tony really wants the attention here. Look at her. Okay, here we go. Let's see what the cards have to say for you. And Christmas is always, with the weather we've had here, and I'm sure wherever you are, we've had, it's warm, it's cold, it snows, uh, it breaks all records of whatever's going on. I hope we have a nice Christmas for everybody, wherever you are. Wow, nice card. Family, thinking about, thinking about me, what to get. For people at gifts, thinking about uh, uh, attention you might be um, getting. Oh, you have nice, what a nice, nice spread here. Um, 
you've had some money come to you or you have it coming to you, you know that, in the very, very near future, unless you've just got some money. Um, whether it's something that pays off at the end of the year, well, I'm not quite sure what it is, but there is money coming to you. And new beginnings, and there really are new beginnings, Aries. Here you are with your family, um, and, and maybe it's someone older that you want to take care of, maybe it's your parents, maybe it's just a, a grandmother, grandfather, um, or a friend, or an older um, sibling. So it would be very nice, and they like dogs. They really like dogs, so if you have a dog, bring your dog, because they like to see your dog, you know, how, how people do. Celebration and getting get-togethers, although we're in the, we're in the COVID, uh, I do believe people will get together for the holidays. I really do, I don't th I think that's too hard to ask people for their families not to get together. Here we are, you really have a lot of pentacles, three pentacles. You're looking at, at what you should do about something, whether it's a change of job, whether it's a person make a commitment, or whether it's just exactly what you should do about something. Um, I will tell you, this is a situation that you spend too much time worrying about, way too much time, because whatever you do, and I know I know that's important to you, but whatever you do, either way, it will work out for you. If you go into something new, you'll have more opportunity. Whether you like it or not, you'll have a lot of opportunity to get ahead. If you stay where you are, and I'm talking mainly about a profession, uh, it will be good, very good for you. You'll get some raises, but it won't get you ahead like you want to get ahead. So if you want something solid and stable, stay where you are. If you want to take a chance, go for it. Either way, it's not too bad. Here we are, meeting in holiday time, meeting with some old friends from the past, maybe a, um, a relationship that's getting deeper, getting much deeper and getting cemented more, maybe a commitment coming, uh, maybe somebody new that's, you just know that's the one because you can just talk, talk, talk all night long. And you do. So it's very, very nice cards. Also, I think this card could be if you want to spend this much money on somebody for a gift or get into debt for it. Here you are standing up for yourself, learning who you are, knowing who you are, and that no matter what gets you down, and you've had, you've had a hard time, Aries, you really have to get up and go again. Look at you, stand up again on top of the world. So keep into the wand, and wands means there's strength and there's stability. So very good. Here, this card really goes with this to me right now in this spread. Because this card tells me you are still thinking what you should do. You see the little dog nipping on, it's nipping on your heel saying, go for it, go for it. But this is, what should I do? Well, the same thing. If you go for it, it's good. It's good for you in many ways, opportunity docks. If you don't go for it, you'll still get raises and things will be okay. The opportunities just won't be there for you. And finally, you have strong, you've gotten really strong over the year. Sometimes hardships make us get strong. Um, you're strong, uh, you have someone who really cares about you. This card is also the less card of the deck. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, you can have oh, the person, the person it is eating right out of your hand, more or less, if you can see the card. Um, so wonderful spread. I really, oh, I really wish you, wish I'd get your angel cards out. I'm sorry, I forgot to get them out. Um, let me get them out for you. Um, and see, I'll pick one for you. Sorry. Um, and here's your angel card for the month. It is love is the staff of life. And, and this month, that's so true for all of us. And Merry Christmas and watch your new, new um, videos. Bye-bye.